Now we're going to use a little lead shot for weight so that we get a little uh, compression on the joint so that the West system will set up. And here we're going to use a little excess uh, leftover epoxy to fill in some of the gaps so we have a seamless joint between the head and the body. West system is set up and you can see I've already started to ease the neck uh, juncture down as well as redefine this so that we can start getting this natural slope here and, and remove the remainder of the shelf that we had uh, excessively on there. I've also started cutting in, probably can't see it because of the way the light's hitting it, but I've started cutting in side pockets as well so that we can get the final shape in here. I'm going to use the Nicholson number 47 rasp to ease the junction between the head and the body. Use the rounded part of the rasp to avoid flat spots. Here I'm using a rat tail file to get a nice rounded junction at the seam between the head and the body. I've moved back to the Nicholson raft to make the depression on the back of the decoy that marks the separation of the two folded wings. Again, I'm using the rounded side of the raft. Here, I switch to a sharp carving knife to dupe in the area at the nape of the neck or the area closest to the head. I'm using a push knife that is in essence a very sharp paint scraper. Here you can also see on this side of the decoy the roughed in side pockets. I actually rough those in with my Ford I'm using a saber bit. Now that I have the head junction to my liking on this side of the decoy, I'm going to turn my attention to the flat spot on the back of the decoy. light gives a great indication of where you still need to you know knock out some flat areas or 
some you know texture that you don't really want. Uh, for example, you can see right in here, based on the harsh shadows from the from the low sun, that I still got to take this down. Still a little flat in through here. Of course, this side I haven't really addressed, so we'll get to that. But this side I've been working on, you can kind of see that area right there. You can turn it just a little bit, and you can see there's still some areas right in through here that need to be addressed as well as some of these higher spots here on the side pockets. And you can just see that we've just started reducing this flat area up here and tapering it back to the back. It's getting there. You can see some areas right in here that need to be addressed. An area right in through here. Turn and look at it this way. That ridge is pretty pronounced. So you need to, we need to address that, but you can also see Go make some shavings. You'll feel 